asked multiple different Discord servers what they thought was the most overrated card game in Roblox. And I'm going to be playing the five most popular opinions to see if they are the most overrated card games. Starting off with the one that was said the least, this is Southwest Florida. On a random weekday, this game has 10,000 active players, meaning this game is super popular. This game has a huge presence on YouTube, mainly because of the RP community. I've only played this game one time, and that was back in Halloween of 2022. During that time, there was a Halloween event, and I unlocked this car. And I thought this was limited, but on the car, it doesn't show the tag saying it's limited. One of the big complaints I have about this game is that you have to do everything manually. No matter what, you always have to manually turn on your car and you always have to shift into first. And no matter what, when you're in first, you're not able to go into reverse. You have to press Q twice and then you'll finally go into reverse. And this is just super unnatural and it doesn't make sense to even have this in the game. It seriously just feels like a useless feature. Also, there doesn't seem to be a lot of content in this game, but it's mainly because it's an RP game. So you have to be creative and make up your own scenarios. And when it comes to card games, I think this is a best for role playing on Roblox. But this game is getting a huge update soon, hopefully saving it from being called the most overrated card game on Roblox. And here we are on the dealership and this game has a decent amount of cars in it. Oh, uh, no, no, I can't. No, I'm not gonna. There's also a lot of the game that I haven't explored. For example, the jobs. You can become a criminal and break into gas stations and banks and steal money. You can be a firefighter and fight fire. You can be a paramedic and save some of the criminals that die. You can be a police officer and stop the criminals and a whole bunch more, but I think most of them are kind of similar. Also, if we head over to one of the mechanic shops, We have a huge amount of variables that we can change. For example, the engine, force induction, brakes, weight, tires, transmission, suspension, wheel width, wheel size, camber, offset, steering, drivetrain. As you can see, there's a lot of different things you can change on cars. And with that, I'm going to say this game isn't deserving as being one of the most overrated car games on Roblox. But on to the next game, which is also an RP game. This one has way more hate. That game being Greenville. This game is even more roleplay based than Southwest Florida. This game has no content if you're not roleplaying in it. And the complaints I see about this game is that this map is super dull and has no content. Also, how the car models aren't good. Here's the car in game, and you can't really tell from this angle, but if you head up and the lighting hits it correctly, you can see that there's like a bump in the hood and this doesn't make sense. So I can definitely see where some people that are super picky wouldn't like this, especially for a car that's as popular as this one. And if we head back to the dealership, and trying to buy a car that's even remotely expensive, you'll see that all of them are locked behind a pass. I'm not exactly sure if they updated the game at all, but back when I played, this was the fastest car you could get without spending Robux. And it was only like 180,000. Well, there's cars worth 3 million and all of these are behind a pass. Now, I'm not saying the passes are super expensive, but it just doesn't make sense to lock all of the content in the game behind a paywall. But I guess since this game is all centered around roleplay, it makes sense that they'll lock everything behind a paywall. Since you're not grinding races in this game or challenging other people in certain ways, Ways. And I'm not exactly sure the specifics, but I remember the best way to earn money was to set your speed control to around 60 miles per hour. Meaning having a faster car literally didn't matter. Because I think it's trying to reward players for driving the speed limit. But this game is just also so weird with how it does everything. But if you're bored with your friends, you can hop on this game and you'll have some fun on it. As there's a whole bunch of role-playing opportunities you have in this game. And with that, I would definitely say this game is a contender as being one of the most overrated car games. Because there's a lot of imperfections in the game that I feel like should be fixed even though they're not. But with that, let's move on to the next game. This this game being Car Dealership Tycoon, and I believe this to be the most active car game on Roblox currently, with almost 16,000 people active on a random day. And it also has 1.8 billion visits, meaning it has 500 million visits more than the second most visited car game. And I do have to say this game feels super repetitive after a while, as the main focus is to upgrade dealerships, but after you've done one, there's no point of playing the game anymore. And there's almost no way to add more content to a game like this, meaning it might be stuck in a loop of everybody saying this game is super overrated. But if you're playing this game for the first time, it's actually really fun and you'll understand why it has so many players. What they've done to try and make this game more enjoyable for other players that have completed dealerships is adding races. But this completely removes the main idea of this game, which is tycoons. Another reason people hate this game so much is because of all the pop-ups that come up on the screen. By adding special offers or different things that'll make you spend Robux on the game. Which in-game purchases are something that almost every player hates. And I have to say that I think there are better ways to implement tycoons into a racing game. But this game does have the most visits out of every car game, so it must be doing something right. And this game, just like the others, is able to hold up a huge audience on YouTube. And here are all the cars you can buy in the game as of now.
This shows how much effort they have to put in the game to try and hold the long-term players. But with that, I think that's about everything I have to say about this game. Let's move on to the next game. On to the next game, which is probably the most well-known car game on Roblox. We have Driving Empire. This game is holstering over 1 billion visits, meaning it must be really good. So why exactly are people hating on this game? The reason this game's been getting so much hate recently is because of the bad updates they've been bringing out. This is mainly because the original owner sold the game to a different company. But after they've seen the backlash of these bad updates, they've been focusing on creating updates that players are actually enjoying like this licensed ssc you can get and for updates like licensing it's good for their game and bad for every other game on the platform as they're basically forcing every other game to get licenses or they'll get the cars taken away putting a monopoly on these types of games but no matter how good of updates they bring out some players are still going to be hating on the game as they hate the idea of letting kids gamble in a game and also making most of the updates pay to play which is seriously a bad look for a game and this is proven by the player count compared to it a few years ago but just looking at the base of the game i think it's super good and i don't think it's overrated because of the history it's had if this game wasn't around, I don't think the Roblox car community would be as big as it is now. And there's definitely still time where the developers can save this game. And as of recently, they've been focusing on being more transparent and talking more to the community, as you can see by this roadmap right here. And if all these ideas actually go through, I think this game is going to be amazing. I guess we'll just have to see once it comes out. And this game also has a lot of cars, but sadly, a lot of them have been removed. But almost every single car you see on the screen is licensed, meaning they'll stay in the game and they're the exact models of real life. Here we have this SSC Tuatara and comparing it to a picture, it's identical. And I hope this game keeps improving so it can force other car games to actually put out good updates, as competition will always lead to us having better games. And that's about all I have to say for this game. It might be a little bit overrated, but I don't think it's too bad, especially since it's probably the best car game on Roblox, at least when it comes to models. And on to the very last game, which was rated the most overrated car game on Roblox, this being Vehicle Legends. And this game has a staggering 1.3 billion visits, making it even more popular than Driving Empire. If you've ever played this game before, you probably understand why people think this is the most overrated car game on Roblox. The only thing that people really like about this game are the models. But other than that, this game is just super bland. But just like Driving Empire, the reason that this game is so popular is because of its history. It's been around for a super long time, and back in the day, people really liked this game. And because people like this game, they played it a lot, and now they don't want to let go of it. My guess to this game being so popular is because it's oriented towards children, and it's focused on holding on to players for a short amount of time instead of for multiple hours. Which I guess it works, but it doesn't really makes sense. And in this game, you can also change your performance and the appearance of your cars. And these are all the cars in the game. This game might have the most out of all the games we've seen so far. And that's not even counting the motorcycles, airplanes, and boats. But when looking at the main content of this game, it's just races. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine races in total over here. There is some races for boats and planes, but once you complete all these races a few times, it just feels repetitive and boring. And it's crazy how some people almost have 300,000 wins and 1 million miles. What do they see in this game that makes it so special? But with that, that's the most overrated car game in Roblox. Let me know down in the comments if you think any of these are overrated or if there's any other that are more overrated than this and i'll see you in the next video